What's up, guys, and welcome back to Bible Fun with the Dennis. Today we're in John chapter 17. Let's get started. So Jesus starts off, and he's praying this big, long prayer. And first he prays for himself, then he prays for his disciples, and then he prays for his believers, us. Yes, Jesus prays for all believers. This chapter tells us a lot about Jesus' character and what's important to Jesus. This is actually just moments before he will be betrayed. This is not the Garden of Gethsemane. We're getting there. In fact, that's tomorrow's chapter. But um, this is important enough to him that even moments before him being betrayed and arrested and beaten and crucified on a cross, he takes the time to spend time in prayer with God. So even though this is going to happen soon, and remember Jesus knows what's going to happen. He's God also. Um, it's important to Jesus to spend time with his father. Not just to spend time with him, but he took that time to pray for all of his disciples and followers, including us. And I love that. When I got to verse 20 where he says that he's not just praying for those who already believe in him, but also for those who will believe in him later. That's us. And that's what I wrote in my Bible. That's me. Um, because we will come to know him after this point in his life. So, um, Jax, we'll start with your takeaway, and then I'll share mine. So, my takeaway is at the end, and I'm going to use your Bible. Okay. Um, and it says, <laughs> he's eating while his plants. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. We're actually growing something. I know. Uh-huh. Go ahead. It says, O righteous Father, even though the world does not know you, I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I may know to them your name, and I will continue to make it known that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. So, um, I was already touched on this a little bit, but I just think it's so cool how he's thinking us 2,000 years before we were even thought of. Agree. Um... And my takeaway is in what Jesus prayed for us. The things that he prayed for us show us what's important for us, what he wants for us. And so if this time of prayer was so important, then we need to pay attention. I'm sorry, our dog, we need to <laughs> pray on him the in the kennel. <laughs> but if this time of prayer was so important to Jesus at this time, we need to pay attention to Jesus' heart and what he prayed for. And so some of the main things that he prays right here is for there to be unity among us. Do y'all know what unity means? Yes. To be at one, to be of one mind, to be on the same wavelength. Um, and he prays that God be glorified in us and through us and through him. So if this was that important to Jesus, then it needs to be important to us. We recently talked about bringing God glory through our lives. Um, the way that Jesus said, the blind man, the things that happened in his life were to bring glory to God. This, the same way that Jesus said what happened with Lazarus, allowing him to die and Jesus raising him back to life. Those things happened to bring glory to God. And so um, we recently talked about that. But today we add in this aspect of unity. The unity of believers is very important to Jesus. In fact, we will see many of his disciples share about this um, all through the New Testament. Um, in Philippians chapter 1, verse 27, it says, Only conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or remain absent, I will hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit, that's united, you're standing firm together, with one mind, that's united, having the same um, plan in mind, and striving together, that's uni unity, that's working together, and he says, for the faith of the gospel. Um, in Philippians 2.2, 2, he says, make my joy complete, and this is Paul, um, one of the disciples of Jesus who has a crazy cool story of how he came to know Jesus, mm -hmm. total life change. Um, he says, make my joy complete by being of the same mind, maintaining the same love, united in spirit and intent on one purpose. Every single thing of that verse is about unity. The same mind, same love, united in spirit, intent on one purpose. And then finally in Romans 12, 18, 
Um, scripture tells us, if possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. And this is that unity. Um, so living in unity, bringing God glory, these are the kind of things that only God can do. So we must pray just like Jesus models out for us in this chapter and ask God to give us these things. And since this is God's word, something that we've learned recently, we know this is God's will. And as we learned just recently, when whatever we ask for in Jesus' name, according to God's will, God will give it to us. And so when we pray for these things, it lines up with what Jesus wants for us. It lines up with everything that God wants for his followers. So for today's challenge, let's pray just like Jesus. Let's pray and ask God to unite all of us believers because um, we need it. We need God's help in that so that we may bring glory to God. All right, friends, thank you for joining us today. We will see you tomorrow.